Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered what is there in your soft drink? Many solutes dissolve in water to form soft drink you consume like sugar, water, carbon dioxide, artificial color, preservative etc. These soft drinks taste the same throughout the whole bottle, isn't it? So, it is a homogeneous mixture which means the components of mixture are uniformly distributed throughout the drink. When you buy soft drink, you can look at the label to know what is there in it and how much. Here, the label says every 250 ml has 30 grams of sugar and that's a lot of sugar. The mass concentration of solute that is sugar is 30 grams per 250 ml. Now, what is the percentage of sugar? It is 30 divided by 250 multiplied by 100 and this is equal to 12%. This is mass by volume percentage which tells us the concentration of sugar in it. 12% of sugar is a lot of sugar. This concentration is denoted by W by V sign. Generally, concentration of solution is given in W by V or W by W. Sometimes, we also see V by V written on the, on the juice bottle label. So, let us see how these concentrations are calculated. W by W means mass of the solute divided by mass of the solution multiplied by 100. For example, there is 20 grams of salt in 250 grams of salt water. So, W by W concentration that is mass concentration of salt in solution is equal to 20 divided by 250 multiplied by 100 and this is equal to 8% W by W. V by V means volume by volume concentration. This is when we add liquid to another liquid. Say the concentration of a fruit juice is 25 V by V which means there is 25 ml of fruit juice in every 100 ml of solution. It's not 100% fruit juice then, right? So, hope now you can calculate the concentration of different things in cold drinks, fruit juices, etc. by reading the label when you buy it. Now, can you add unlimited amount of sugar and water to make it super sweet? If you keep adding sugar and water, after certain amount, sugar will stop dissolving in water. You know, at 20 degrees centigrade, you can dissolve around 179 gram of sugar in 100 ml of water. After that, the solution would not take any more solute. That is, we cannot dissolve more sugar. So we say the solution is saturated solution. Why did we mention the temperature? If we take that saturated sugar solution and heat it, it would take more sugar. Generally, to know how much solute we can add to a solvent, we use a simple parameter solubility. Solubility refers to the ability of a substance to dissolve in a certain solvent. The amount of solute present in a saturated solution at a certain temperature is called its solubility at that temperature. As we saw, at 20 degrees centigrade, you can dissolve around 179 grams of sugar in 100 ml of water. Whereas, at 100 degrees centigrade, you can dissolve around 487 grams of sugar in 100 ml of water. Now, the sugar is soluble and its solubility is really high. Like at 100 degree centigrade, you can add around 487 grams in 100 ml of water. But we say chalk is insoluble in water because of its solubility is just 15 milligram in 1 liter of water at 
25 degree centigrade and that is too low. So to sum up how to express the concentration of a solution it can be expressed as mass by mass percentage of a solution which we said as W by W that is mass of solute divided by mass of solution multiplied by 100 or the other way is it can be expressed as mass by volume percentage of a solution which we said as W by V that is mass of solute divided by volume of solution multiplied by 100. So that was all for now. Bye-bye.